How's it going, everyone? This is Wimbo. Yeah, today I'm super excited. I'm gonna share you one of like very very nice、uh, lighting tips about、uh, the pure white background photos. You know, a lot of us, a lot of us, whether photographers or designers, usually trying to get a pure white white background images of your products in the to. Illustrating is going to look nice and neat, and、um, but、uh, in in the three D world, a lot of time, a lot of times you actually actually just need to do do the render and do still processing in Photoshop. I mean, in in this way, we you know we're in the three D world. Come on, guys, you don't need to think about a lot of. Physical variants that uh, uh, need to do clean up for scratches and anything, and in,、uh, surface imperfections for a lot of stuff. But now, what you actually can do is just building the environment and to, to lighting the in the in the correct way. Just kind of rent it out. You see the picture on the left hand side. This is this is what exactly coming out from the lighting environment. I'm going to share it with you, and today. So you don't really need to do anything. And these white is going to be a pure white. And how can I know that? Okay, let's get started. So it's for these. You know, usually you go to the、uh, this tab. Usually you can see here a, a color management. Usually this things usually typically set it up and then you just leave it there for forever, right? And then these the view transform. Basically, this is called.、Uh, this is more like the.、Uh, The the lots or the the preset or the color、uh, format that you render is going to be filmic is the one have the biggest range of 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 the entire、uh, selections and the logs a little bit flat is less contrast. So what I'm going to use I'm going to use a false color. So how they think it works and if I'm putting in here see everything in red. You see red, yellow, green. These,、uh, and, and every, anything is illuminating in、uh, in the red right now. It means pure white. It's being overexposed. You know, it's more like we're utilizing this kind of like indicator or this、uh, display view to uh, uh, this view transform、uh, to actually show you where is the highlight, where where is being. Uh, and overexposed, so it's more like in photography. It is more like、um, the histogram, right? So we'll see what's going on, which part is it going to be, or highlight、uh, indicator when you turn it on, when you take pictures,、uh, whenever the image is is, is being blown out, is going to flash, right? Yeah, if you have ever used digital photog、uh, cameras, you will know what I'm talking about. Anyway, so now I can know. Oh, so this part has been pure white, and also down here is going to be pure white. So I know it's good. Like it's ready to go. And some of the, some of these you can see here, the label is being a little bit red. Yeah, we want to retain some details for that. But I I know this label is is already a white, so we don't need to see、uh, too much details or anything for that. So I'm okay with the with the with the setup. So I'm going to turn back to the filmic. So. How this thing is actually actually works, and、uh, how how did I like this? So let's get jump into here. So this here is a scene, okay? Here's my camera. Here's the the, the floor, and here's the、uh, the background. Here's the main line, and this is the fill line. It's pretty typical, and the major、uh, usually.、Um, Most people, when they're thinking, oh, I need to have a studio light, what they usually do is adding a, they're gonna shift A, add a plane, and drag it up, and let's just move over here, and then go to the edit mode, go that, select that, and then E Z, tilt it up, and do that, and then select this edge, and hit Control B to bevel it. It's pretty typical, right? And then you shade smooth. So this is more like a backdrop because you don't see a seamless line between there, all right? Is is that's kind of usually what people do. But if you have ever tried, even in the in the real、uh, photography studios, when you do that, the background usually is gray. It's not going to be white, whatever. It doesn't really matter what kind of material is going to use for this backdrop. It's going to be a little bit darker. Right, that's kind of causing the trouble, and people don't know what's going on. It is because of the lighting. 
guys that is because of lighting so when when photographers are actually producing this in white pure background images they don't use that way they don't use to to the backdrop and in that way unless they already have a plan to going to do do a lot of photoshop works or there are certain limitation for rooms for space uh, you cannot achieve this look in a studio so they have to do this so now today i'm going to show you how to do this what's going on so if i'm turn this into the render view so i just going to review what's going on here as you can see here these are this background it actually is a light right very simple and i just can put a emission shader hook into there and uh, get some strength for the light uh, and how much should i go yes so that's just based on earlier what i have done for the color management to see uh, how much redness because we we don't want the, the light really kind of spill on the edge kind of like chewing up the edge of the fine line so this is something you want to pay attention there are two things you two things you can control two ways you can control one is the strength of this light and the other thing is just kind of the the uh this distance from the, the light into the subject because you know the light is, is is going to fall off the strength so it's not going to be super illuminating the evenly uh across the entire uh, the distance is going to fall off the strength is going to fall off okay so we can control that using the distance anyway so in this way you know in, in the reality in the photography studio sometimes you're going to put a big white soft box or something diffusion uh, materials a sheet of diffusion materials and then illuminating the back using a, another even soft uh, light to to what's trying to produce is just exactly what is showing here is even illuminating because if you see my other tutorials about a, a soft box you know soft box usually uh, have some issues when when the lights have a center spot hot spot and then the light strength is going to fade off fade away to the edge so that's what actually happening in the real world but in the cg you don't you don't you don't need to deal with that that uh, issue anymore so you can just make something that super perfectly illuminating uh, like the exact way you want so we have got this right we got this another thing going on here is we if we look at in here this plane is, is i put it in here is i'm using a uh standard principal psts df and then you actually understand this is uh the the, the what i did i dragged out the roughness all the way to a very very small number because i don't want it to make a zero although it's very close to zero uh, i just want to make a look a little bit still a little bit realistic because you couldn't find anything in the world that it's, it's super super zero roughness and i put a specular uh to two and one so this thing is actually acting like a mirror or some way it's very reflective right you can see this and um, from the thumbnails you will see uh, i mean i have showed you three different uh reflections about this image so you know we have this background light and we have this reflective surface and we have our uh our camera right here how the thing works why there's like a seamless transitioning over here and this is, is looks very nice and white it's because the physics guys so when you when you think about the light the light is going to come in here i mean in entire surface there will be a light coming out right there are lights that's going to come out here and bounce because it's a very reflective surface and bounce to the, the camera right here right so that's basically what you see here these are the reflection from the background it's not really the the, the table i mean the, not that really the surface funny or you don't believe that yeah it what if think about it if i change the color of this guy and uh, do you think if i'm changing this white yeah right now it's white right pure white to black do you think this is going to turn black let's see now uh, yes if i'm going to do this if i'm turning to the black okay still white yes why because it's reflecting the top of this backlight it's not really showing anything for the surface and another benefit that i also wanted to show you uh, to tell you is this you can see the color if i'm switching color from black to gray 
look at the clarity of the reflections. You can ch you can manipulating that, control that using a color. Is amazing. Yes, it is amazing because it, this is what you do in the real life as well. When you purchase something, the the similar item, if you want to replicate this the light scenes in the real life in studio, absolutely you should do that, and that's the most efficient way to producing the catalog images with a pure white background. Basically, you just if you can having some uh, something surface like this, very reflective. And uh, and you you can uh, you can have a nice background light to have to in here even illuminate, and there's another main light just getting some. Uh, uh, I mean, let me show you the the key light for for that. So you see, without any key light, without any light and fill light in the front, this this is what looks and it's. it's the background is reflecting on the surface and bouncing uh, into the camera, so you will see that in here, right? And also, if I'm changing this to black, yeah, it's a little bit darker, right? And then if I'm oh, turn it on the the key light, which is the left one, so this one you can be a regular soft box. You don't need to do anything to making sure it's uh, lighting even illuminated evenly across the edge. You don't have to do that, and you can just do this and another fill light. You you don't typically don't need to do another light. You can just using a bounce card or whiteboard card and to kind of get some light filled back in, so you can get that. So this is what you can do uh, in real life as well so you may ask well where can I find this similar uh, surface or textures materials in, in real life so there you go I can show you uh, what's going on here so we can you can purchase this thing uh, this is called a uh, I think in the in the United States it's called an acrylic uh, black acrylic sheet so I this is just kind of a screenshot from uh, eBay that you can buy, purchase and then you can see this this is actually the the cover film a very thin layer of of, of film plastic wrap that you can peel it off because when you purchase them they will come with these sealed uh, f film on the top and when you start using that you just peel off this uh, wrap and then the surface is clean. There's no no dust and no scratches, and it's just working like the one we already built in the scene, right, right there, so in the in in here. So that's the exactly the same thing in here, but we can build that in 3D. So you can do that. So you can really actually working the way as it's supposed to be uh, in 3D and in real life. And I'm basically what I'm doing right now. I'm utilizing 3D uh, to teaching you guys photography because I'm I'm a photographer and came into the 3D world and I start understanding I realizing a lot of 3D artists or graphic designers or illustrators who wants to get into 3D they don't know too much about lighting and uh, following following other people's tutorials but who are not also not really expert of lighting so for me. This is my strength, or uh, something that I really want to contribute to this Blender community, and I'm really hoping this uh, lighting series is gonna help you quite a, quite a better when you when you trying to understanding studio lights much better and more. And I, I think really think this is going to benefit you either you. Either you want to do a 3D rendering or visualization, or you just want to do photography in general uh, the lighting knowledge is still very can be very beneficial for for what you wanted to to do so if you also consider into this photorealistic rendering in uh, in 3d uh, please consider subscribe my channel I will continue producing uh, uh, the tutorials and the sharing tips to to help you guys to to grow and at the same times and uh, we can hang out on Instagram and if you if you are on social media as well and yeah thank you so much again for your support for the past couple uh, weeks and uh, I've been running this for a month but i got huge support from the community i really appreciate it and uh, have a nice day and i'll uh, see you in the next good video bye